commercial transport owners have given their full support of the road toll levy after a meeting with a select committee on roads and transport in parliament on Wednesday. The meeting was occasioned by a joint news documentary produced by Sep Kwame Boating, an attempt to implement the levy requiring all vehicle owners to pay an annual mandatory towing levy was met with fierce protests forcing government to suspend it in 2017. Elton Brobe was at the meeting and filed this report. In the last three months, over 800 Ghanaians have been killed through road accidents and the causes have been identified to be uh, the abandonment of broken down vehicles on our highways, lack of education, lack of enforcement, the poor nature of some of our roads. But today, in a unanimous voice, the transport operators say that they are ready to comply with the mandatory towing service. Indeed, they are ready to pay uh, for the vehicles to be towed once they are broken down on our highways. Indeed, one of the issues that came up at this particular meeting called by the Transport Committee of Parliament was the fact that government must also do more to ensure that our roads are constructed in a state and manner that they become accident free. But as far as the towing of our vehicles are concerned, they are ready to pay the 180 Ghana cities a year instead of the 3,000 Ghana cities they pay to vehicles that tow uh, broken down trucks on our highways. Some of them have been sharing their concerns with the lack of enforcement of the mandatory towing service. I would employ other stakeholders for us all to look to taking decisions, be it concrete, that will protect our drivers, our drivers mate, and our passengers ultimately. And if it involves having to put something in the pool that reduces the cost of the work, let's do it and pay 80 cities a month rather than 80 cities a year, rather than having to wait and pay 3,000 uh, cities per an incident. There may not be a real need to pay any levy for this towing. But then we have insurance has increased their prices. They are paying so much for third party and comprehensive insurance. Two to five percent, based on calculation, should be charged or task the insurance companies to take this burden and take two to five percent of whatever we have paid to them and pay to the road safety unit to be able to tow our vehicles when they break down. I want us to look at it and get the insurance company whether they can be of any help in this area. It's a lot of idea. And it can be revisited will be good. But I think what needs to be done is uh, the communication. You know, get the buy-in from the people before we roll it out, and I think uh, it can catch on. In the absence of that, now, uh, somebody said here that sometimes you get into an accident, you don't even know where the towing companies are, because you don't have the numbers. So what I would suggest, also we can do, is to liaise with the police department in every district, so that when something a, a bus or a truck or a car breaks down and it's stationary in the middle of the road. They'll be given the mandate to call a tow company right away. The charge should be a little bit more than what an individual tow company will charge you. Now the chairman of the Rules, Transports and Aviation Committee of Parliament, Kennedy Ose Nyako, says that government will in the coming days come up with a policy that will make it mandatory for all broken down vehicles on our highways to be towed. And I will require that when you go to renew your roadworthy certificate, you'll be required to pay some amount of money. We as the committee, I think we will engage the ministry, especially the sector minister on this matter. Now that the players, these are the key, one of the, I mean, part of the key stakeholders, one, now that they have agreed in, in principle that government should bring back uh, the uh, mandatory to we will also engage the ministry to see how they are preparing uh, where they've got into whether they have some issues we will share the concerns that they these uh, transport operators have also raised with the ministry to see how we can we can uh, push this uh, forward because we can no longer wait on this matter again from parliament house elton brobe reporting for joy news